Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a working roller coaster in Fortnite. This is, this feature has just now been added, so you can now make a working roller coaster in Fortnite. So I'm going to be showing you that today. And if that you liked this video and it was helpful, please make sure to subscribe, come and join the channel. So first, you need to go into your menu and go to galleries. And then just type in mine. Just type in mine and then go to the minecart gallery you'll see like these minecarts and these tracks so pick up the first track make sure that your grid snap is on 32 because that works the best with placing down tracks and make sure that your drops is on so just place down the tracks and keep on aligning them well that's not really aligned just er, you know what i mean just keep on aligning them until that it looks good and it's as long as that you want it to. You could use the copy and paste feature like this. And then just keep on doing that until that it's to the way that you want it to be. So I'm just going to cut through this and then I'll show you guys afterwards. Okay guys, so I've just finished building my roller coaster track. Um, so once that you're done with that, go back into the minecart gallery and get a minecart. But don't get any of these because your player won't be able to sit in them so just get the empty one and place it down on the rails so right like that not like that make sure that it's aligned like the wheels are actually aligned on the rails like that people aren't gonna look at it but just to be sure so once that you have your cart on it you could add like a little stopper at the end and the first thing that you need to do is you you need to get a prop mover device. So place that down. And then, so I need to see, so just mark where that your prop is. And then go to the very edge, like right here before it turn. Oh, wait, so that's good. So it's exactly 30 meters. So we need to make this to where it stops at 30 meters. And you could change the speed too, so make the speed. For a roller coaster, I would imagine being like eight. And then turn this off. Time from start, turn that off. And then turn this to continue, none. Continue, none. Continue, none. And then put start when received from channel three. Because that you need you need like a button. I'm just doing channel three because I already have some other channels in this map. You're gonna need a button right here. So when that a player walks up to the roller coaster, they could click it and get inside. So just click, so just type in, get in roller coaster. And then turn the triggering sound to disabled. Times could be triggered infinite. Visible during game, turn that off and then make the radius a little bit bigger so that people can like see it from a distance. And then, when interact, transmit on channel three. So now, we need to set down a rift. If I could find one. Yeah, here. So we need to set down a rift that will activate when that we transmit. So. So go over here, put this on whatever channel that your button is transmitting on. Mine's just three because I already have some other channels in this map. So yours is probably one. So just put it to that. Turn these off. Enable during all. And then turn these teleporter uh, visibility little options down to no. So make sure that you can't see the rift. It don't play visual effects and that it don't play sound effects. So once that that is all good, Make sure that teleports when received from channel three again. And then you need to add a prop manipulator. So if this, you only need this if that you have a turn in your roller coaster. So I would recommend your roll, you making your roller coaster something simple like this or else it's gonna be like really, really confusing. It'll take a lot of storage. But I have a turn, so follow this if that you have a turn. So get your prop manipulator. Place that down. Show props when received from 
uh, wait, no, actually, no, we want to hide this from Steve, from whatever channel, mine is just four. And then we want to start hidden, no. And then that should be good. So make sure that this little arrow right here on the prop mover device is facing the direction that you want to. I should have mentioned this earlier, but you see how like the arrow's pointing straight? That means that the roller coaster is gonna go straight. So now for the turn, we want to add, wait, hold on, let me just do something real quickly. Go back to your prop mover, stop and receive from whatever channel that it is. So now, get a mutator zone let's pull this out okay so now you have a mutator zone what the why is it you see that little blue like weird line you want to align that line with like the moment that the turn turns it's like right there uh, no i want to have it like like right there because that's what so whenever that it enters it's gonna turn so i should probably have it like there yeah so when it goes in there it's going to instantly turn and yeah you well, you don't really need to align it like that but it'll just like make it look better and feel better so you want this on player entering transmit on whatever channel okay so just you could turn all this down it just depends on what they want it to be like this stuff really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that you have that, it'll transmit on the channel. And, yeah, so let's see. We'll have this, yeah, stop when we receive from that channel. So now we need to go back into our minecart gallery and take out another minecart, the empty one, and put it, I don't want to join you right now, put it right here right where that is going to turn now now get another prop manipulator put it on show props or see from that same channel start hidden yes and now we need a teleporter device so you can just grab the one from over here and then put it in there just put it in there yeah, make sure. Okay, so now, yeah, teleport when we see from channel four, and it should have all those like settings where that I don't want to, where that it's like not gonna show and all that stuff, and then get another prop mover. Why does he keep joining? Get another prop mover right here. If it'll let me grab it. Okay, it won't let me grab it. So let me go into devices and get it. Prop mover right here make sure that your drops is off for the prop mover so that um it won't like drop down so the arrow is facing the way that i want it to um star will receive from channel four speed set it to the same speed that you had so i think i had it at like eight distance it doesn't really matter on this and yeah that that should be good now there actually is a way to make the roller coaster stop. All that you need to do is get this trigger right here, place it down. Actually, you might need to uh, you might need to make it like quite a bit bigger. So make it big. Yep. Whoops. So you want to make sure that your trigger is big and put like the edge of it where that you want it to stop. So right there. And then when uh, trigger, no, when trigger transmit on whatever channel, mine's so just going to be five. And then it should be somewhere over here. Um, invisible in game, turn that to no because then it's just going to look weird. And then you want to make this stop on whatever channel that that is. So now I'm just gonna place down a spawn pad just to show you guys, and it should work.
All right, guys, let's test this. So get in roller coaster, click that, and boom, it's moving. Enter in there. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. So, as you can see, it stopped us. That's is not good. And I know exactly what that we have done wrong here. So the problem is we didn't make that like we didn't make it big enough. So um the cart hit it, but we didn't. So that's a bit of a problem. So it should work now. Let me go in there. It stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it should work now. I might even have to make it like a little bit more right there. All right. The only reason that that didn't work is because that the roller coaster was supposed to stop right there. Get in. All right. Let's make sure it works. Bam. Yeah. Okay. It, it dealt damage to us, which isn't supposed to happen. And I know why it happened. And it shouldn't have happened. Okay. It's because that we didn't even change any of these settings. Except for the speed, so... Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Sorry for the misunderstanding, guys. You have to have, like, the same settings, except for, like, the speed and the direction. And when that starts and stops for like the roller coaster mover. I mean, no, not for the prop mover. See, boom. Boom. You could you can make that trigger sound um stop here. Let me test it. So go right over here. Uh, trigger sound disable. Trigger VFX. Let me turn that off. All right, okay guys, this is the moment of truth, the full thing. You guys ready to see it? All right, click the button. Gets in the roller coaster on the turn, the deadly turn. Bam, boom guys. That is how that you make a working roller coaster in Fortnite. If that this was helpful and you learn from it, make sure that you subscribe and join the channel. We have lots of other how-to videos, how to get police cars in Fortnite, how to turn tiny in Fortnite. How to, how to make a subscribe button on the PS4 share factory editing software. So please come and join the channel. Make sure that you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.